Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an updated skincare collection. Now the last video I did of this was back in June and while some of those products are still in rotation, I have added quite a few things and actually one of my best friends, Sabrina, was texting me. She was like, I need to know everything that you put on your face or what's in your collection. You need to do like an updated routine or an updated video. And I'm not going to be doing a routine, like I'm not going to be demoing these products for you today because I, again, have so many that I use in rotation so obviously I can't demo all of them in action because there are more than like 22 products that I use total so yeah that, that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you everything that I've got a lot of these things are new to me like a week or two old some of these I've been using for several months but these are all the products in my current rotation so yeah if you're interested to see don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you know when I post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it so I just want to start with a small disclaimer my skin goes up and down uh, quite frequently like for the most part this year it's been pretty good I will always get flare-ups and acne around my chin and on my forehead during that time of the month that's pretty standard for me recently my skin has been going through some stuff on my forehead and my chin yes because it was that time of the month but also there's a lot of stress I mean it's the holidays so I feel like everyone's more stressed around the holidays like it is the most wonderful time of the year but in a lot of ways it's not I don't know I sound so dramatic saying that, but it is the truth. And I feel like my skin has been going through some stuff, but um, I do keep a pretty regimented skincare routine. And I'm obviously gonna share these products with you, but um, I, just to kind of give you context, I have oily, acne prone skin. It doesn't get super oily these days because it's not hot outside, it is winter. And I do live in Las Vegas, so the weather is naturally inherently pretty dry. So I do always moisturize. I don't ever strip my skin of that because if you do, you will actually cause your skin to produce more sebum or oil and your skin will overcompensate. So always make sure that you're moisturizing and hydrating your skin, even if you do have oily skin. Just shut up and get into these products. I tried to put everything in here because there was no way that I could fit everything just like holding it. I don't know how I'm gonna take this thumbnail photo too either. Anyway, I feel like I should start with morning, my morning face products and then my nighttime face products. So my morning face cleanser is pretty much the same. It is the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser for sensitive skin. I don't like to use a treatment cleanser. And what I mean by that is something that's infused with like salicylic acid or anything like that. I like to use a very pure, simple cleanser in the morning, but this is dermatologist recommended. You can buy this at Target. Um, it's free of dyes, lanolin fragrance, masking fragrance, parabens, formaldehyde and other preservatives. It's sylvate free and benteen free. I don't really know what that is. Really, really nice. It's not a super foamy cleanser, but you do get a lot of products, eight fluid ounces. But I also started getting into the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Facial Cleanser. This is newer to my collection. And this is a gentle milk cleanser with soy proteins and green tea. So it is kind of the same consistency as this uh, cleanser as well. It's very um, soothing. It kind of is a dupe, in my opinion, for the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This kind of has a similar scent. It's hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, non-irritating, formulated without parabens, SLS, and silicones. So I love these cleansers for the morning because they're very natural, very moisturizing, but very soothing at the same time. And this is really, really nice. And I give this an extra bonus point because it has a really nice scent that's perfect for waking up in the morning so I really really like this and yeah these are like my OGs for um, the morning time so after I wash my face in the morning with those cleansers I will always spritz my face with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender they have a couple different scents but if you guys have watched my empties videos if you guys have watched previous videos like this this is one of my favorite products ever and um, I actually used to use this twice I used to use this morning and night now I just use this in the morning and I just use my other toner at night so I will go into that when I talk about my nighttime products but this is really nice it's very calming and the lavender scent is really really nice in the morning and especially in the summertime it just helps you feel cool instantly you can put it in the fridge but um, this is really nice to just kind of like revitalize the skin and give it a nice little surge of moisture in the morning after you've woken up and you feel puffy this is really really nice and not too expensive this is the biggest size they offer this is eight fluid ounces I buy my Mario Badescu products at Ulta and this was $12 
And then I will go in with a spot treatment and not a spot treatment like my salicylic acid treatment that kind of like stays like jelly on the skin. This is the Kate Somerville Anti Back Clearing Lotion. This is 5% benzoyl peroxide. So it will give you a nice treatment, but it's like time release, I believe. So even if you're wearing makeup on top, it'll work underneath, which is what I really love. And the consistency is almost like that of lotion. And I actually can use this up to twice a day, which um, I know a lot of people are scared of, but since I do have acne prone skin, um, I don't shy away from using this and I use very little, like I'll just use that much and I just rub it into the skin and it dissolves like instantly. It's perfect, it sinks into the skin. You can layer products on top of it really, really nicely. This is a little bit more pricey at $42, but in my opinion, it is like my holy grail. Um, I will continue to repurchase this over and over and over again. And I think it's amazing, like truly amazing because it's so versatile. You can layer stuff on top of it and it doesn't look patchy underneath, um, but it is quite effective at you know, banishing blemishes and stuff like that. So this I will nine times out of 10 use in the morning after I tone or spritz my face with this. So I wanna give a shout out to this guy. This is the e.l.f. under eye refresh. I use a different eye cream at night, but this is really, really nice for just kind of rolling out your under eyes. It just feels really cooling to the touch and it has a nice little roller ball. So it helps kind of smooth out your eyes from, you know, sleeping obviously overnight and the sensation is really really nice in the morning i instantly feel like i've just woken up which is the weirdest thing to say but in my opinion this is really really nice and it's three dollars so it's very inexpensive and then last but not least for the morning i will go in with the pharmacy green screen uh, moisturizer this is something that's a little bit newer to my collection i've been using it for a couple months now but i love it especially if you're oily this does not make you more oily the consistency is very nice very smooth it comes out like this the tube is like a squeezy tube and this is a little bit more pricey. This is $36 at Sephora, but in my opinion, the ingredients are really, really clean and really nice, and they do not irritate my skin, so that's awesome, and it's SPF 30. Okay, and that is it for my morning routine. These are all the products I typically use in the morning. My nighttime routine is the big daddy because that's where I alternate through my cleansers and my masks, so let's get started. If I'm not taking off my makeup with a wipe, which I should grab those, I'll be right back. All right, so typically these are the wipes I will use to clean my face. These are from the dollar store. They're comparable to the simple skin cleansing wipes. These are nothing new, but most times I will take off my makeup with this guy right here. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter skin therapy cleansing oil for face it's mineral oil free but infused with grapeseed jojoba rosehip oils and vitamin c i will just leave this in the shower and when i shower at night after work i just pump one pump of this onto my dry hands and into my dry skin and i just rub my makeup off prior to cleansing and i find that this is pretty effective i actually just ordered the cleansing oil from the body shop the chamomile one so i'm excited to try that but this is a great affordable option. It's under $10 and really good stuff. Now in terms of cleansers, I have quite a few, but let me explain my process. Currently have four facial cleansers. Two of them are scrubs that I alternate through. I used to talk about the formula 10.0.6 uh, scrub. I forget what that's called, but I, don't have that in my collection anymore. I still have it in my collection, but I don't use it in my current rotation. I use these four cleansers <coughs> at nighttime. And honestly, I don't specifically assign each cleanser to a different day, but let me explain. So the Tatcha cleanser is one that I keep out my sink. If I'm gonna take a bath on the weekend or something and I'm wearing makeup during the day, kind of like tonight, I will stand on my sink and wash my face with this guy. And this is a really nice scrub. It's not too gritty. It's not too much. The granules are very, very fine. So it doesn't super exfoliate your skin, but this is nice for a weekly deep cleanse. And I love it for that. It's really, really good stuff. Then this is something that's actually brand new to my collection that I've had for two weeks. This is the Ole Henriksen uh, Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub with Volcanic Sand, Green Fusion Complex, Neem Seed Oil, and AHAs. So this is the physical exfoliant that's infused with um, chemical exfoliators as well, like AHAs. And I use this 
about two to three times a week as it instructs you to do. But um, what I will do is I will make sure that if I am using a physical scrub like this, I will not really use my AHA serums because I don't want to over exfoliate my skin. I bought this because I was looking for a new scrub that wasn't like super intense. And I love that it actually, when you pour it out onto your hand, it starts off as being really warm. It's like the cycle and you rub it onto your face and then eventually it becomes cool, which is kind of like your signal to wash it off. But I really, really love it. Um, I do believe it's completely necessary to go in with this first before you go in with this. If you are wearing makeup, this will not take off your makeup completely. So just air caution to that but so far so good I really like it and the smell is very spa like too and then I have these two cleansers which are kind of like my everyday cleansers um, I will use either the dr. Woods tea tree facial cleanser I've spoken about this before in a favorites video this is a really nice natural formula infused with tea tree oil and a bunch of other natural ingredients I will use this either with my hands or on a brush or a little scrubby pad it's really good stuff and then I will also use this on other days. This is the vitamin C uh, facial wash by Soap and Glory. I've also spoken about this in a favorites video and I love that it has like these blue beads that aren't really exfoliating. So I wouldn't consider these exfoliators at all. They're just like facial cleansers. They don't strip the skin. They're good at helping with your blemishes, helping make your skin feel super clean. So these are great and I love them and they're not super expensive. So I will continue to use them. Like these are more high end. These are more affordable, so you know, it's all about balance. And then after I wash my face, I will go in with a toning product. This is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber Formula that's alcohol free. I will use this on days that I am going to apply my AHA serum because I don't want to overdo it with it, as I said. Um, it's kind of confusing to explain, but this is like my go-to toner on days where I don't want to apply like more glycolic acid to my skin. It's really, really nice, very soothing, alcohol free. As I mentioned, I used to use both of these two times a day now I just use this in the morning and this at night and this is really good because it helps get rid of all the excess makeup off even if you've double cleansed your skin which I usually do after I wash my face I will you know apply this all over my face with a cotton ball and I will still find product left over so that is a really good sign that this is taking away some of that gunk which I really really love but about every other day or so I will go in with the first aid beauty facial radiance pads these are new to my collection and I love these these um help exfoliate tone and brighten they're alcohol free and safe for sensitive skin I've been really getting into this brand I also have the first aid beauty cleanser which I'm actually going to take with me to LA because it's a great traveling cleanser I'm really excited to use it it looks really like pure and stuff so I can't wait but this is really nice and I've noticed that it actually does help with my texture and you know my blemishes and stuff like that so this is really nice one cotton pad can cover your entire face and then some and then I have four masks that are also in my current rotation I feel like since I've done this video all four of these masks are new to my rotation but these are the ones that I'm exclusively using right now let's start with this one right here this is a teamy detox mask this is a really nice clay mask because I don't wash my hair every day on days where I don't wash my hair I will use one of these masks and then just rotate through them throughout the week so this is the teamy detox mask this is the green tea blend with matcha lemongrass and clay and it looks like this I just put a spatula into it and just apply it all over my face I look like Alphaba the Wicked Witch from the West it does harden but it's really nice to rinse off and it does have little exfoliating particles so that you do get a nice scrub but it's not overly intense you know like you don't have to like really scrub your face but this is really nice it is a little pricey it's $30 I got mine at Ulta, but in my opinion, you get a lot of product and it does do a really good job at just kind of sucking the crap out of your skin. Speaking of sucking the crap out of your skin, this is the Tarte Friction Stick, which I just spoke about in my November favorites. This is a two-in-one stick that's super convenient to travel with. I use this as a mask. So you just twist it up. It is a charcoal mask. This is a clay mask. This does similar things to the clay mask. It does just help draw out those impurities, which I think is super, super nice. It's so convenient. You just paint it all over your face and you just let it sit. And then 20 minutes later, 15 minutes later, you just wash it off and it washes off very easily. 
love 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 it and then i have two masks that are not like super like life sucking so to speak this is the found brightening papaya enzyme mask i think in my last video i spoke about the andalou naturals face mask this is kind of like the same thing this is a natural brand that you can find at walmart i've tried a couple products from this brand and i do like them this is a big daddy you get six fluid ounces of product and i believe this was only 12 dollars. i could be wrong but it wasn't expensive it's 95 percent natural and it does have papaya enzymes which are known to naturally exfoliate skin as well as pineapple in here and they reduce the appearance of pigmentation this is a very interesting mask you can see it's like green but it's not like a thick green mask like it's more translucent and more serum -y when you apply it on your face so you're not going to get that super opaque layer but I love this because I wanted to have a brightening mask because as you guys know, I do struggle with hyperpigmentation and acne scarring. So if I did previously have a lot of breakouts, I will use this to help, you know, brighten my skin once a week and it's really, really nice. I love the scent. It's a great mask. What can I say? And then last but not least, the mask that I'm not going to lie, I've only used once so far, but I'm actually going to use this tonight. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. You can use this for 10 minutes. It really helps nourish and rejuvenate your skin. So if your skin's dry or distressed, um, you can put this on your face and after 10 minutes it does feel soothed and in my opinion that's exactly what it does even though i don't have dry skin i do suffer from breakouts obviously and it is drier out here so i'm not opposed to a more uh soothing hydrating mask and i found that when you do put this on it does tingle a bit i'm not exactly sure why but it does tingle but then your skin feels so smooth and nourished after you wash it off i can't really explain it that well but it's really, really nice and I love it and I can't wait to continue to use it. And the consistency has these little like beads in it, but it doesn't really exfoliate your skin really. It is just purely a soothing face mask, but I really, really love it. Okay, and then we have serums. I have two serums. Well, I have one serum and then one spot treatment to talk about. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Face Serum. This is a glycolic acid serum. so it'll chemically exfoliate your skin. So I will use this every other day. I will use these products in conjunction. I won't use this with like this, as I mentioned, because again, don't want to overdo the um, AHAs. But this is really, really nice at helping texture. I just apply one to two pumps and just apply it on my chin area, on my forehead area, like my problem area. And it does help brighten your skin and it does really help with texture. So I super, super love that. And I wait like about five minutes before I put my moisturizer on, on top. And because this does have honey, so it does hydrate your skin. But of course, I like to just add that extra layer to just ensure that everything is like settled in. And I really, really love it. It's great stuff. It's a little bit pricey, but not as pricey as like the Drunk Elephant Framboose Glycolic Night Serum, which pretty much does the same thing. So this is really good stuff. And then I want to talk about my salicylic acid treatment. This is the Formula 10.0.6 Rescue Me Acne Blemish Treatment. This is just a salicylic acid gel. It's very inexpensive. And it does have denatured alcohol in it, which as I mentioned, works by breaking down the barrier of your skin to like get into your skin, I think. Um, so I don't use this every day. Of course, if I want um, to layer on something, if I'm not using this, I will use my um, Kate Somerville anti back because it just blends in really nicely. And I will use that more than this, but if I'm going to bed and after I've done all my skincare and I notice that there's just like a really big pimple, I will use this guy because I just pop it on and it does help with reducing the size of your pimple overnight. Okay, last thing before we go into my nighttime moisturizers, this is the Melanin Goetz Revitalizing Eye Gel. Looks like this. I bought this at Barney's. <sighs> This was expensive, but I was looking for an eye gel that wasn't super heavy and I use this at night and I just apply like a little pea size amount and really just rub it into my eyes and it does feel very nourishing, very cooling. I don't know if it's the most hydrating because it's not a thick eye cream at all. It is an eye gel, but I have found that it does help with my bags and does help with my overall darkness. So this is really good stuff. If you're willing to spend a pretty penny. If you're not, I totally understand, but this is just the one that I have right now. Okay, and then last but not least, to wrap up this entire video, which has been like an hour long, I have four moisturizers that I currently go 
through right now that are in my rotation. Let's start off with this one. This is the Formula 10.0.6 Thirst No More Moisturizer. This is something that I've actually been using over the past couple nights when I didn't want to apply such a heavy cream. This works great during the daytime if you are applying um, SPF foundation. This is just a beautiful, lightweight um, moisturizer that's affordable, but it does have hyaluronic acid, so it really will help hydrate your skin um, without feeling heavy at all. So this is really good stuff, and it's eight bucks, eight or nine bucks, and I really, really love it. Now, in terms of what I would exclusively use as night creams, these are like my night creams. This is the CEO cream you can use this during the day, but this is the Protect and Repair Moisturizer by Sunday Riley. It smells like oranges. You can see right here, it's like a thicker consistency. It's very rich, but it's not super greasy. Like it's not greasy at all. It'll just make your face feel very moisturized, but it does not leave a greasy slip and I love it. The vitamin C in here is more stable than other forms of vitamin C, which actually my skin is pretty sensitive to vitamin C. I've tried a lot of vitamin C treatments and stuff like that, but I almost end up breaking out every time. And this doesn't really, I don't know if this has broken me out. I don't think it has, but um, I haven't used this in quite a few days because I'm, I've been alternating through other stuff, but it does help at brightening your skin and it feels so nice on the skin, especially during the winter time, so I really do like it. And then one that's newer but I've been using pretty much constantly for the past two weeks is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It's intense hydration. I know people with dry skin love this product. Me with oily skin, um, I have been using it every night after I really had a bad breakout because I wanted something to really just soothe my skin. You do get a lot of product in here because you can use this for the body as well but it's a skin protectant it helps eczema it helps um irritated skin it helps dry skin safe for sensitive skin no parabens harsh chemicals or colorants and um i do feel like it has soothed my skin like it does a really good job of that but I kind of laid off using it for the past two nights because I was using it every day and I don't know if I should be because it is more of a thicker cream but in my opinion this is really really nice and yeah it's it's very soothing and a little does go a long way like it doesn't feel thick like this one but it is very hydrating like it feels more of like a whipped moussey consistency that just melts into your skin but doesn't feel too heavy at all like you don't feel like you have a greasy residue on your face it's good stuff okay and then last Last but not least, I want to talk about the Trader Joe's 100% Argan Oil. This is something that I will use once a week, just two drops all over my face. Argan Oil is really good. It's non-comedogenic, so it will not clog your pores, and it actually helps regulate your sebum production. So if you are oily, it will not make you more oily. It will help regulate your oils in your skin, and in my opinion, this is really nice. Again, this is from Trader Joe's. It's $7.00 pure and organic okay everyone i can't believe we made it to the end of this video but this was a roundup of all of my skincare products that i currently use in rotation i know it was a lot and of course your routine does not have to be as high maintenance as this one is but yeah, I'm constantly discovering things that work really well for my skin, constantly trial and error because if I break out, I can't really attribute it to one thing because obviously we're always using so many different products on my skin, but most of my breakouts are due to stress and hormones from you know just being a woman at that time of the month but yeah leave me a comment down below with what's in your skincare routine if you have oily acne prone skin like mine what's your holy grail item and maybe i'll check it out or even if you have a different skin type from me i would love to know what you're into but yeah that's it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hopefully i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye